The Enterprise Day has two purposes. The first of which is for us to get our community together and for everybody to recognize uh, what enterprise is at the university and how important enterprise is to all of us and how we share a common purpose. And the second is to get externals in so that we can learn from their perspective of what our enterprise activity needs to deliver for society. So we've had a, an amazing day today. We've had students, researchers, companies, uh, industry leaders come together, which is exactly what we were hoping. Uh, there's been a real energy and buzz for the day, opportunity to see some of the companies that have started here, uh, to talk about their journeys, to share their insights, uh, and we really want to build on this success. I'm Parimala Shiva Prasad, a PhD graduate uh, of chemical engineering from the University of Bath. Uh, I am the founder of Retra and also co-director of SMDR Limited, which is another startup from my PhD uh, during my uh, during my stay at Bath here. Being a part of the various enterprise activities from Dragon's Den to being one of the recipients of the Innovation uh, Awards helped me uh, sort of de-risk uh, my, my business plan. Being supported by some incredible mentors uh, here at Bath, both on the business side but also being associated with the Department of Chemical Engineering, which meant I had a lot of the technical support as well and, and the space of course because uh, a lot of my initial product development was lab based so I always had access to the labs uh, in the departments. Business starts with an idea and I'm just so supportive of what the university is doing in terms of bringing ideas and fostering them and then building an ecosystem around that and doing it really collaboratively and bringing academia together with investors and venture capitalists and entrepreneurs to really build that platform for innovation, growth and success. I was a student at the School of Management at Bath University uh, well over a decade ago now uh, and in, in the period of time since I've left I founded three different businesses, uh, one of which was actually just as I was graduating university like uh, many of the people who are here today. Hi, I'm Natasha, I'm a student entrepreneur um, and founder of an ethical beauty app which allows you to discover the ethics behind your favourite beauty products. Um, so I first joined um, Enterprise Bath, um, one of the student societies to help actually um, support your student businesses. Um, that was in my placement year when I was setting up my first business, Laguna Lashes, um, and they've been really supportive in terms of actually um, looking at what it is that it takes for students to start a business. If you look around the room, there are a lot of the mentors who are provided by Bath University and through the Enterprise Society. And I think it's those, those, uh, those mentors that actually weren't around when I was at the university that I can imagine that these guys value the most because they're getting that real world step inside how their business acumen is going to be applied. The mentorship programmes have been really useful because it really provides that one-on-one -on -one support. Um, obviously the workshops and, and engaging events are absolutely incredible to meet other entrepreneurs and find out expertise in certain areas. Not only supports you in developing your idea and your business, but also yourself and your own individual skills as a student entrepreneur. Being able to do my placement year for DOPO and being able to spend that amount of time on it and for the university to say like actually yes you can do this, you, you, like, we kind of believe in you to be able to at least do it for a year and to treat it as if it is something that you want to take further, which I did. So that's probably one thing, but then the other side is since my final year and then my master's year this year, so the past two years, I've got really involved with um, Enterprise Bath and so through there I've done a lot of things. So I've done the Dragon's Den, I got through round one and I was also successful in round two, which was really great. Um, I've applied for various awards, I applied for something through the Santander Entrepreneurship Fund and so through that as well, like getting that extra funding while also doing those workshops that Enterprise Bath offer and doing all of those networking opportunities, the mentorship scheme that also they put forward like there was just a lot of different things that I could kind of dip my toe into and see what it was like. What else can we do to provide uh, the best ecosystem available to those people uh, in order to support them in the future? Uh, who else do we need to partner with? Uh, what fundraising might be required? The different elements that make this uh, a success that it is uh, and so we're very in keen to hear from other people and their inputs uh, to make sure we can do it as, as best as we can.